What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got a very exciting super rare to talk about. And it's a green super rare, which makes me pretty gosh darn happy indeed. We are going to talk about Shiva Mon, and as someone who's just rewatched the entirety of the league. <laughs> but first, I need to tell you about Pissed Mom. And I should give a massive shout out to the lovely folks over at Ensan Gaming here, who do provide our translation. We are gigantic fans of the lovely folks over at Ensan Gaming. And to be fair, also DigimonCard.dev, where we use translated proxies and also provided translations here as well. So Pissed Mom, what we've got is a 7 cost to play normally, 3 cost to Digivolve, 7,000 power, which is pretty much your standard ordinary everyday run of the mill level five what's interesting here is it's got digisorption minus two and i say interesting you know digisorption is a it's a skill that green have had loads but it's been a while since we saw anyone with digisorption ah uh, that's not actually strictly true was it because the rosemon that was a promo in bt6 did have digisorption Okay, fair enough. And then, to be fair, there was the Argamon in BT5. Okay, maybe Digi's option is a bit more recent than I thought. But it's still been a while, ladies and gentlemen. It seemed to be, like, really aggressive in BT2 and then not come around so much. Well, it's back here. And it's Digi's option minus two. Which means that you may suspend one of your other Digimon to reduce the cost of Digivolution by two. I.e., it becomes a one cost to Digivolve. The thing is, if we look at green level 5s, we've got other options in terms of cheap Digivolution, Digisorption, etc. Obviously, we've got the Argamon, which has download minus 3, and lets you play a level 3 when you're attacking. A card so good, incidentally, it has been restricted to one copy in your deck. Because honestly, like that Argamon, it is a little bit too good. It is one of those Digimon you look at and you're like, yeah, um, maybe that was a bit too good of a card. So, okay, fair enough. We've also got Blossomon, which is very similar but doesn't have the inheritable skill and lets you Digivolve then for zero, which is pretty gosh darn good. And then we've got all of your two cost to Digivolve like normal, etc. So we have other options. And this is only Digi's option minus two, not three. Is there a reason to play it over something like Blossomon or Argamon? Well, we've got an inheritable skill on all of your turns. This Digimon gains 1,000 power for each of your other suspended Digimon. So, yeah. There absolutely is a reason to play this over the other two. It can get dumb over the top powerful. It's not quite as cheap to Digivolve up, which is a little bit sad, but it ends up being significantly more powerful. And you know what? I am totally okay with that. This is really good. This is really good. Now, it's only if you need a bit of a boost, but if you need that bit of a boost, it's really good. However, once again, I can look at this and be like, well, to be fair, we've got the Kabutri Mon that's a cheap to Digivolve level 4. For every one of your opponent's rested Digimon, you gain 1,000 power. And then we've got a Gargamon that does the same thing. Now, that is your opponent's. This is based on your Digimon, so it is a little bit different. But it is important to note that you could just go, you know... Kabutrimon or Gargamon here and then have a cheaper to Digivolve something like a Blossommon and you'd potentially be getting the same effect but for less memory or at least a similar effect. It's not exactly the same. So I'm just pointing this one out to you. It's not exactly the same as them because it's all on one card. That makes a difference because it is your suspended Digimon you're reliant on rather than your opponents. It does make a difference. It's not exactly the same but it is also not a million miles away. What we do have is a cheap to Digimolve Digimon because of Digisorption. Never forget that Serra's Mon allows you to essentially take that Digisorption, but suspend one of your opponent's Digimon rather than yours when you do it, which is hilarious. 
So do please bear in mind Sarah's Mon. There's an obvious brilliant combo here. And the fact that it is your Digimon, like I say, does make it that little bit different. And then, of course, we start seeing a combo with the other green we saw the other day. Because, of course, Pulse Mon. For each of your other rested Digimon, you gain 1,000 power. Yes, it is the exact same skill. So that's, you know, honestly pretty important to bear in mind. So look, it's there. It's interesting. It's cool. It's the same inheritable skill. So it's kind of up to you. Maybe you use Pulsemon instead of Pistmon to get the skill. Or maybe you use them as a pair. And then as a pair, you are then rocking it pretty hard. I don't know. It's an interesting card. But the main event here is Shivamon, and Shivamon is awesome. We've got 12 cost to play normally, 4 cost to Digivolve, 12,000 power. So one more than what I've been calling for a while, the average. And it definitely was back in the earlier days, you know, BT1, 2, 3, probably even 4. But certainly the last couple sets have seen more and more Digimon that have been more expensive and more powerful. And I think I might need to go and look over the average. But it's got a phenomenal skill. While all of your Digimon are suspended, your opponent can't play option cards. I know. Do remember this won't work as it comes out from security because they're not playing it. It's as a security card. It is a different thing. And we will get a ruling on this, I assume, when the FAQ drops. But it is important to note that generally speaking, when a security card or an option card comes out as a security card, it is not playing it, it's different, so this should only stop ones being played from hand. Make no mistake about it though, you get all your Digimon suspended and then all of a sudden your opponent is locked out of option cards? Like how many times have you been in a great position? Because I have many, 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 many times. And your opponent just drops the perfect option card. Sometimes it's a Gaia Force, sometimes it's something else. But in the most recent Evolution Cup I played in, I had in every match... One of the games, I got wrecked by an option card when I was in a position to win. Every time. Every match I played, one of the games, an option card came and wrecked me when I was about to win the game. If I could have had all my Digimon suspended and a Shivamon in play, I'd win all of those games. And that's why this is so good. Option cards win games. They're not always an every turn kind of thing. Your opponent is going to wait and drop them at the perfect time. They're going to run you out of smaller Digimon. Or they're going to get rid of your one big Digimon or whatever. Option cards wreck games. Shivamon stops it happening. And again, if you've played enough games of Digimon, you will be able to think back on your own experiences. All of those games you played that you would have won if your opponent didn't drop that one option card at the perfect time. Well, now they can't. And sure, your opponent still gets option cards that come out of the security, but they are not reliable. They'll be annoying, they'll hurt you, boo hiss, etc. But your opponent cannot plan for that, and that's my point. Ah, there are a few cards that actually let them do it. But they're few and far between. Generally speaking, this is going to win so many games for you. Even if you just play this as a one-off, even if Shivamon's not your main Digimon, I don't care. If you've got this on the field and your opponent is locked out of option cards, I mean, the best way to put it is, if your opponent wasn't going to be relying on option cards, your opponent wouldn't be playing option cards. If they are playing option cards... They want the option cards. And that's, of course, before we get to the subset of option cards that let you evolve up more easily and more cheaply. A great example of that would be your Hidden Potential Uncovered, the green card that's so good it also ended up getting restricted. That's just one example. There are a bunch of them. Ones that reduce evolution costs, let you skip evolution stages, things of that nature. This is a ridiculous skill. And it's not the only thing about the card. Although, to be clear, it would be a great card if it just had this. What we've also got here is on your turn, when this Digimon becomes active during your unsuspend phase, trash the top card of your opponent's security. So basically, you get all of your Digimon suspended, and your opponent can't play option cards, 
And then it goes back to your turn. This becomes unsuspended and you trash the top card of your opponent's security. Bearing in mind when you trash the security, no skills activate. So your opponent cannot get any kind of advantage. They just end up losing their security. And this, again, is a nut skill. And I've been fawning over all the secret rares in this set. I've shown you all the ones that have been revealed so far. I keep saying really nice things about them, giving them five wassies, which honestly seems a bit redundant at this stage. And, you know, as an example, all right, Blastmon. I pulled a bunch of Blastmon. I am willing to come out and say that I don't think Blastmon's a very good card. Although, to be clear, I would love it if it started winning tournaments because I've got so many of these. And an alternate art. But it basically lets your opponent block you with whoever they want, which is clearly annoying. So sometimes I'll see someone like Blastmon and I'll just be like, nah, mate. This, however, this set is just giving us great super airs over and over again. And this seems to be it. This is my favorite one so far. And yes, I know I... I play green far far more than any other color so i'm not entirely unbiased here but essentially you can turn off your opponent's option cards and then start trashing their security that is an absolutely ridiculous mixture of skills which most digimon just cannot come up against sure you got to rest all of your opponent's digimon but this actually goes back to the bibimon i showed you the other day it had an inheritable skill while all of your other Digimon are suspended. This Digimon gains a thousand power. And I told you then that we must be missing something. That there are going to be other skills that interact with and make this better. Yeah. Pulsemon gives you an extra 1000 power for each of your suspended Digimon. In the same way as Pistmon does here. And oh look. Now we've got something that lets us take advantage of them. If all your Digimon are resting... Oh, green are getting good, ladies and gentlemen. And I am getting delighted. But now I want to hear from you guys. I want to know how good you think it is. I want to know if you think I'm overreacting. Or if you're also a little bit bowled over by how gosh darn awesome this looks. Let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.